We're on problem 43. 43. Which statement describes the graph of the following equation? They write x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0. And essentially, you want to get this into kind of standard conic square format. I don't know what it's officially called. And, the, and you do that by completing the square on both the x and the y. Um, I guess you can all call it subpolynomial, and then you should be able to recognize what kind of conic section it is. So let's separate out the x and the y terms. So the x terms, I'll do that in blue. You get x squared plus 4x, right? And then we're going to add something that makes it a perfect square. And you could already guess what we're going to add. Let's say we're going to add 4, right? Because x squared plus 4x plus 4 is x plus 2 squared. So I'm going to write that in magenta just so we remember that we added it. This came out of nowhere right now. So if I added plus 4 here, I'm going to have to add plus 4 on this side, right? Plus 4. This is the equal sign. All right. And then let me do the y terms. I'll do it in this brown color. Plus y squared minus 6y. And then what would I add here? Half of minus 6 is minus 3. And then if I were to square that, minus 3 squared, I'll do it in this magenta color again, is plus 9. Right, plus 9. So I want to add plus 9 to the right-hand side as well. right? And then finally, I have a, and of course, this is y minus 3 squared, this whole thing right here. And then I have that minus 3 right over here. All right, now let me rewrite this term right here. I added this plus 4 here for a reason, so that I could make this into x plus 2 squared. And then plus, and I added this plus 9 here for a reason, so I could make this y minus 3 squared. And then let's say, well, let me just keep the minus 3 there for now. Minus, let me do it in the other color. Minus 3 is equal to 4 plus 9. 4 plus 9 is what? Is equal to 13. Let's add the 3 to both sides of that equation. So you get x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 16. And now if you think about it, this is the form of a circle, right? This is you know, I, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared, where the center of the circle is at where? So whatever the x value is what makes this equal to 0. So it's x. It's minus 2. And then the y value of its center is what makes this equal to 0. Minus 2 comma 3. That's its center. And its radius is the square root of 16. So the radius is equal to 4. It can't be negative 4, because you can't have a negative radius. So the answer is a circle with radius at minus 2 comma 3, minus 2 comma 3, and radius 4. And that's choice D. Problem 44. What is the solution to the equation? 5 to the x is equal to 17. OK, so that means that we, if, we take, if we take the log base, so 5 to the x power is equal to 17. We could rewrite this in log format. That means that log base 5 of 17 is equal to x. And you could, you could, you could Read this exactly the same way you read that. 5 to the x is equal to 17. But of course, that's not one of our choices. And this is fairly useless on your calculator, because you don't have a log base 5 button. And so you just have to, let me write it this way. x is equal to, I'm just switching it, log base 5 of 17, just because it's easier for me to, to, to uh, deal with. And so, and this is just, I prove it in, in previous Khan Academy logarithm videos, but there's just a general property. And I'll write the property here. If x is equal to log base, I don't know, base b of a, that that is equal to log base 10 of a divided of a, lowercase a, divided by log base 10 of b. And you just have to pick the same base both you. You could have the base, you could have the natural log of a divided by the natural log of b. You could do whatever log you want, but log base 10 is on your calculator, so that's why this is convenient. So we could say that log 
This is equal to the log base 10 of 17 divided by the log base 10 of 5. And that should be a choice. Yep, that's choice D. Next question. They say if log, this is problem 45. Let me write it down. 45. 45. They say if log base 10 of x is equal to minus 2, what is the value of x? So that essentially is 10 to the minus 2 power is equal to x. 10 to the minus 2 power is equal to x. Right? All a logarithm is, it tells you what number do I have to, what exponent do I have to raise the base to to get whatever I'm inputting into the logarithm function, right? So if I raise 10 to the minus 2, I get x. 10 to the minus 2, that's 1 over 10 squared is equal to x, which is 1 over 100 is equal to x, and that's choice C. Choice C. I think I could do problem 46 right here. 46. Which equation is equivalent to log base 3 of 1 ninth is equal to is equal to x. Okay, well, just read it the exact same way we read question 45. This is just saying that 3 to the x power is equal to 1 ninth. So let's write that. 3 to the x power is equal to 1 ninth. Is that one of the choices? Well, yeah, that's choice C. 3, that's all, that, that was suspiciously easy, I think. You just kind of have to know the definition of what a logarithm is. OK, problem 47. I'll clear this screen. Let me switch colors. <coughs> 47. Which is, oh, this I'll cut, cut and paste this one, because this is interesting. Let me blow it up a little bit so you can definitely read it because they want us to identify an incorrect step. OK, let me go here. OK, and they ask us, which is the first incorrect step in simplifying log base 4 of 4 over 64? All right, step one, they said log base 4 of 4 over 64 is equal to log base 4 of 4 minus log base 4 of 64. That's right. Whatever your when you divide within the logarithm function, or you know what you're inputting into the logarithm function, that's the equivalent of of taking the the log of the top one and subtracting from that the log of the bottom, and that's all a function of uh, actually when you divide two numbers of the same base, you subtract their exponents, and we proved that we proved that in previous videos, but that's just good enough that you have to know that that's the cor that's a correct step right now. So what's log base four of four? Four to what power is equal to four? Well, that yeah, sure. That's equal to one, right? Four to what power is equal to sixty-four? Let's see. Four squared is sixteen, right? Four to the one is equal to four. Four squared is equal to sixteen. Four to the third is four times sixteen, which is sixty-four. So four to the four, four to the third power is sixty-four. So this is three. So this should be. This should be. Let's see. Log of four. Minus 60. Right. This should be a 3 here. This should be a minus 3. So this step 2 was the first incorrect step. They misevaluated log base 4 of 64. They thought it was 16 for some reason. I guess they divided 64 by 4. But it's actually 4 to the third power is 16. So, sorry, 4 to the third power is 64. So the answer there is 3. So step 2 is the first incorrect step. Next question. All right. All right, let me see. All right. Clear image, invert colors. All right, let me copy and paste this one too cuz this is interesting. I'll try to copy and paste as many of the word problems as possible. This is problem 48. Let me write that down in the corner. 48, right in that corner. Jeremy, Michael, Shannon, and Brenda each work the same math problem at the chalkboard. Each student's work is shown below. Their teacher said that while two of them had the correct answer, only one of them had arrived at the correct conclusion using correct steps. 
OK, and they want to know which is the completely correct solution. OK, let me just copy and paste those. So co completely correct solution. OK, so let's just think about what everyone did here. Looks like this is ex dealing with exponents. All right, he had x to the third times x to the minus 7. OK, this is already wrong, right? Because x to the minus 7 is 1 over x to the 7. This is 1 over x to the 7, so this should be a plus right here. So he's wrong. OK, Shannon, x to the third times x to the minus 7. Yep, that equals x to the third over x to the positive 7. And then let's see, 1 over x to the 4. That is right, right? Because this is equal to x to the 3 minus 7. So that's x to the minus 4. So x to the minus 4 is 1 over x to the 4. So as far as I can tell, Shannon's work looks pretty good. Although this was a little weird how she went straight to 1 over x to the 4. Maybe just kind of skipped a step. Michael's work, x to the third over x to the minus 7. OK, he made the same mistake as Jeremy. x to the minus 7, when you put it in the denominator, becomes x to the positive 7. Not, not right. And then, let's see, Brenda's work got this step right. But then this should be x to the minus 4, x to the minus 4 power. So this is not, this is not correct. So the only person who got it right was Shannon. And what choice is that? Shannon is choice C. Choice C. Out of time, see you in the next video.